Uh, we are going to play a game of Play Your Kits Right. Right. Play Your Kits Right. Play Your Kits Right. It's good. Take it again from the top. No. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the kit breakdown. Great to see you here today. We have got every home Premier League kit uh, kindly provided to us by Subside Sports. And today we are going to be playing a game of Play Your Kits Right. So a bit like Play Your Cards Right if you're from the 80s. If you're not, it's a fairly simple concept. Just a load of cards turn the wrong way around. Somebody would turn them around, it's a seven. Higher or lower than a seven, turn the next one. Ooh, unlucky. Or, hey, you've won something you don't need. Speedboat or a pen or something. So anyway, we're going to do that with these kits where we will take a quick look at them as we go through uh, and we'll give them a rating out of 10. Great. And then we'll uh, say whether we think the next one is going to be better or worse before revealing what it is. Mm. So I'll get us started with the Wolves kit uh, made by a company called Sudu, uh, who I'm sure, like me, you've probably never heard of. So Sudu aren't actually Wolves' own brand as such, but they are owned by the people that own Wolves, and they're related to a company that's involved in catering and whatever else, but they've actually set up as a brand. Uh, they've got a headquarters in Manchester and they're doing other product that isn't football kits. Mm, so what's quite... Sounds very suspicious. Do you think so? Mm. Well, something that's not suspicious is the pricing because unlike most of the shirts on this table, which are retailing at around £80 and then 124 the pro shirt, this one is just 58 of your British pounds. Wow. Uh, and the pro shirt would be £80. Uh, wow. So is this the pro or the replica we're looking I believe that this is a replica shirt. Oh, uh, I am there right. to be shot at in the comments, uh, but that is my understanding. This is where I check this, and it says, doesn't tell me. Just mm -hmm. says Wolves Retail. Wolves and there's no authenticating badge on it or anything. So no, so let's assume it's the replica. Wolves fans, if you're uh, able to operate a computer keyboard, do let us know in the comments if we've got it Made right. Made in Bangladesh, Rob. Really? That's not, not what you know. Well, you can tell things. from this, which is absolutely dreadful quality. Really? Yeah. All that for a heat transfer. Yeah, that's not great. I do like the it's Jaguar, though. That's disc. That's yeah. quite nice. It's got a little wolf's head in. It has, well, and yeah. big wolf's heads in it as well, Yeah, which is nice for the dog heads. Yeah. Um, Love it. It's interesting. I like I like that it's got one pack written on it as well because most people aspire to having a six pack, but in Wolverhampton it's very much about just getting the one pack out. So yeah. I was stretching it. So they've obviously done their research and they know what the customers I would say are. so, yeah. Insight driven product. So come on then, what are you gonna give that out of ten then? As a replica, I mean there's not much to it. The fabric's nice, so I'm gonna give it a five. Five. So, so we've scored a five on a wolf shirt. Do we think the next one is going to be higher or lower than a five? It's got to be higher. Do you it's think so? Be yeah, Better than a wolf be. shirt? Yeah. Can't be that hard, can it? Come on. Oh, here we go. So we've got Brentford. Obviously, what I love about this is the fact that this kit is going to hang around for a little bit longer than most kits. Uh, Two-year life cycle, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Uh, love the gradation print on this. There's lots of nice little detail. Fabric's not too bad. Um Really nice heat transfer across the front. Um, okay, it's an embroidered badge. Uh, not a big fan, but that's just my personal preference. I think if I was buying that as a fan's kit, yeah, I think it definitely is better than the Wolves one. I think there's far more detail on it, much more value for money. Umbro do good kits, man. Let's have it. And this really will do. be the one that's the same as the players are wearing as well because right. there's no differentiation with Umbro. Yeah, great, great. So, yeah, I think that's not bad at all. So Score it out of 10 there. I'd probably give that a 6. Oh, so it is higher than the Wolves kit. Yeah, you're going higher or lower on the next brain. one? I mean, I can see what's coming. It's got to be lower, surely, than a 6. Ooh. All right, look at this. 
we have been so excited about Palace shirts over the last few seasons where the the different take on the stripes has been really, really inventive, just felt really look quality. They've looked great. This, however, um, it looks like it's been torn off the walls of a bankrupt Balti restaurant. Mm. Um, just not impressed with it at all. It's got the eagle built into the stripe in multi directions, and then it's got the whole whatever going on with it. I'm just, I really feel like they've they've made a mess of this one compared to what we've seen previously from nice Macron and Palace. Though, Rob. It, it is. It's a I mean, the, the, the graphic. I think they're probably paying a little bit of a, you know, they're getting cr slated if you like because some of the kits in the past couple of seasons have been really good that does look like it's been over designed somewhat yeah um i mean but, it's 100 years of selhurst park so i feel like that would have been a great opportunity to have perhaps done a bit of a reset and done something more sophisticated or heritage inspired yeah or whatever rather than this it could well be that there's a reason why you know this relates to 100 years ago frankly i'll be staggered if there if there is um what are you giving it? <clears throat> That's going to be a four. A four? Yeah, I'm not happy with this at all. Holy smokes, kid. Shiny fabric, not wow. happy. Right, next. Um, yeah, so I'd, I'd probably say... Surely whatever's next is going to be better than this. No, nah, lower. <gasps> Controversial. It is. Yeah, and I'm glad I've gone lower. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ed Sheeran, but I'm not your biggest fan. I'm not sorry. Um, so, yeah, so obviously they've got the Ed Sheeran tour across the chest not a massive fan of this why i don't like the ape switch kit is because of the neckline um i'm not a big fan of that mass massive rib collar at Easy. all i do like the stripe um but if you get up close to it there's quite a lot of bleeding in the stripe as well um What's which bleeding for right? me so bleeding is when you can turn it on inside out and you'll see that it's all being printed so the bleeding is where the blue is basically going into the white yeah um that for me is a cardinal sin um so yeah i don't think that's great i think the badge looks massive i quite like the umbro execution but the way that it's been embroidered is really poor it actually looks like a counterfeit yeah. um so it's a shame because yeah. this is obviously uh a historical umbro logo that's been used to celebrate a hundred years of the brand yeah uh so it was used a lot during the 70s so it's mm -hmm. nice the way that they can incorporate the club colors into the logo like that yeah but, yeah yeah the execution of it just not great it is cheap yeah, so I'd probably give that a two out of ten. Controversial. If it didn't have Ed Sheeran content on the front, would it have scored higher? If that was Depeche Mode, who of course are famously Ipswich Town supporters. Mm, two and a half. <laughs> Fair enough. Higher but or lower? I'm not supposed to have looked at it. I mean, it's got to be higher because that was dreadful. It's just a case of how high. Oh, here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> it's another Tottenham shirt. Every um, year, I just yawn my way through reviewing Tottenham shirts. Well, then don't even review it. Why don't you just go to the next one? What are you going to give that out of 10? Uh, do you know what? I don't mind those stripes, but it's double. It looks nice on. Whatever. I've got to say, I think when it's on field, it actually looks quite canny, I'd say. Yeah, it's all right. 85 quid, though. Have mm. a five and be grateful. All right. So what are you giving that? Five. Five. So, yeah, I'd go... Oh, my God. I've seen it. I've seen it. Um... Oh, it's got to go lower. I'm sorry, Casto. I'm not your biggest fan. As you know, I think you've got a wonderful opportunity to reinvent the world of football, but you're not doing it at the minute. So um, this has been really popular with the Everton fans, though. Yeah, I'm sure it has been, and I know why. And it's because it's super simplistic. It's easy yeah. to wear. I get that. And to be fair to Casto, and I know we give you a hard time, but to be fair to you guys, you do do nice classic kits from from time to time but for me it's the quality issues that you've yeah. got which is you if just keep simple you've yeah. got to bring the value in other ways yeah and if i look at it you know the fabric is okay it's not great it's basically a side seam it's a couple of set in sleeves and it's got a stripy collar yeah when it's and, a polyester t-shirt yeah so i mean what are the, this retailing for is this around i don't know if they're the same what we it's guess like it's going to be around the big brand prices because yeah. they certainly were for Villa last season. Yeah, so, nah, I'm not a massive fan of that. I, I'd, I'd probably give it a four, but I get that the Everton fans like it. I get it. It probably looks quite nice on field, but 
I'm sorry, I can't give it more than a four, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. Right then, are we? So, higher or lower? I'm going to go, it's got to be higher than a four. Right. Okay. Whatever it's going to be. Go. Oh, Fulham. Fulham. They've, they've had some. Like the Fulham kits, they've had some crackers. They have had some crackers. This one's all right. It gets better when I've just seen the back of it, to be honest. I'll tell so. you what, the fabric on that is lovely. Yeah. And that's really, the replica, right? This is the replica, and it oh, leans a lot into the pro shirt. Yeah, that's really nice. As you'd expect from Adidas, really nicely executed in terms of the logos, the yeah. badge, the trims. Yeah. What I especially like is this Craven Cottage thing on the back here, mm. um, which is, yeah, I'm trying to figure out even how it's made. It's like a rubber, raised rubber print on a on a robust fabric. It feels like kind of the Louis Saha era Fulham shirts. Mm -hmm. Can I just have a look at the badge on the back? Yeah, bottom? which I, I like. So I am, so it's just, we've just seen a simple shirt that didn't have anything going on. We've got a simple shirt here that's still simple, but has got a lot of value within it. Yeah, well, I think if you think, if you think price points, if you looked at the Castor one, you look at the Adidas one, oh, yeah, and well, you were a neutral it. fan, which one are you going to buy? This one, of course. All day long. Yeah. All day long. So much. The fabrics are just, I mean, that. if I was a Fulham fan, I'd be well happy with that. Link. Yeah, totally. Well happy. That's so, a real Fulham, problem. you can have eight. I was going to say eight, but I can't quite justify that. Seven and a half, though, I think. Oh, really? I don't like okay. that rib's a bit scratchy. Yeah, that rib is a bit scratchy. Half a point off for that. Yeah, Otherwise, the buttons a bit hard, too. You don't like hard, do okay. you, mate? Right, next, we've st I'll keep showing you what yours are going to be. Yeah, Spoilers well, I, I think I'm going to go higher, which is interesting. Yeah, Arsenal all day long. There we go. Um, I mean, I think, to be fair, I might take some of that back, actually, on that Fulham kit. I know I've said higher, but I'd actually probably go lower. And I'll tell you why, because while the aesthetically... The Arsenal kit is really smart. I love the cannon. I love the detail around the neckline. It is quite similar to the Pro kit, but not that similar. It's it, it's close. It's very close. Don't get me wrong. But compared to that Fulham kit, actually, I think I'm going to change my mind. I would go lower on this. Yeah. I think that Fulham kit is absolutely superb. And when I think of the fabrics that you've got on the front of this as the Arsenal kit versus on the front of the Fulham kit, for me... The Fulham kit is far better value yeah. for money, in my humble opinion. Um, so do you think I was actually a bit harsh as a seven and a half? Do you think we should revisit that? Well, personally, I, yeah. I mean, I thought that seven and a half was slightly too low. I, if I was a Fulham fan and that was my kit, I'd probably be, be up at... Pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, yeah. I'd be well chuffed. I'd, I'd be kind of saying nine and a half, me. Like, yeah, I think that was Wowzers. a great kit. Big so I think that is, for me, the Arsenal kit is really nice if I was going to Give that a mark. I'd probably give that the seven and a half. Yeah. That's, that's where my head would be at. Um, so what you're doing, you're going higher or lower than, than seven, seven and a half. half. I'm going to go lower because we've seen a few stinkers. Ooh. Who's it going to be? Well, hey, I was right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hi. Um, so, yeah, foxes never quit, apparently. Oh, um, okay. Which, that's, you know, good to know. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm not really having this. This feels like a world apart from the other ones. It's got the... Yeah, it's the same template, but it looks like... Cheaper fabric. Cheap out on the fabric. Sublimate. I mean, at least where it's been sublimation printed, it's not white. Yeah. So they've gone dark blue on light blue. I know that really Adidas can't do anything about the the sponsor, but it's not. No, it's not the doesn't nicest help, does kit, it? is it? it? Doesn't, it's like Pac-Man mm. has eaten the Playboy bunny. It's nice to see them back in the Premier League. I'm not bothered. Yeah, I bet you're not, but um, I quite like them. I like the romance behind Leicester City and the fact that they managed to win the Premier League and all the rest yeah. of it back the day. Made a nice change, but this shirt doesn't make a nice change. No. But so, like, what are you saying? I'm going to five this one. Five, definitely higher than. Well, we can see what's coming next. Yeah, and um, I'm glad that I've got this one. Yeah, because it wouldn't be fair for me to read. No, no. So, so, Villa's kit, yeah. Um, again, superb execution on the fabrics. Absolutely Phenomenal how they've managed to get all the colours perfectly matched. Uh, nice execution around the neckline. Yeah. I mean, again, if we look at that neckline, right, That's if that went all the way around, that's not that dissimilar from that Castor kit. Yeah. But the value that's in this garment versus the Castor kit yeah, is great. night and day. Night and day. You know, you've got stripes across the arms, you've got loads of panelling details, you've got mixtures of fabrics. 
you know, the transfers, the embroideries, everything. I mean, that yeah. is a far better quality Look garment um, than basically the Castor Everton kit. So for me, I would give that a high marks. It's similar to that of the Fulham kit. I'd probably go nine. Wow. And, um, That's higher than I scored it in an possibly, independent review. Yeah, but maybe the reason why I'm going there and it's slightly lower than the Fulham kit is because I'd probably have expected just that little bit more with it being the debut shirt for yeah. Adidas and Villa yeah. coming together. I think in fairness to Adidas, it was perhaps a little bit late in the day yeah. when no, the day came about. And that is true. Absolutely true. I mean, for them to even get the kits to this level yeah. in the time that they were given, unbelievable. New but, badge, uh, new sponsor, yeah. new kit provider. Great kit though. I mean, look, we're, we're, we're basically nitpicking here. For yeah. me, that's a nine wow. all day long. Great kit. I'll really great kit. Delighted. So higher or lower? It's got to be lower, hasn't it, surely? Yes. Oh, sorry, Puma. Roll bit. Wow. I'm guessing that's Bitcoin related. Yeah. Everybody loves a crypto sponsor in the Premier League. So this is interesting. This could be the pro kit, right? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. Mm. And yet, it's... That fabric's not that's great, not great, is it? Not at all, man. Don't mm. like it. It's no. Got that little stripes on the back. Yeah. Are we going to talk? No, I mean, I think even from a design perspective, I would have expected to see probably wider stripes on a Southampton shirt back in the Premier League. Mm. It feels a bit Stoke City esque mm. to me. Um, it's an interesting graphic on the back. It looks like um, that might be related to the camouflages off boats. Oh, it could be, which, which would make sense be. for Southampton. Exactly. You know, the old uh, dazzle camo. Yeah. Although, obviously, most of that disappears by the time you've put the player name and number on the back. Oh, no, it's not. It's what fine. Saying? What would you give that out of 10? It's another five for me. Five? It's just bang average. And right. that's it. And that's rating it as a replica, not even as a as a pro shirt. I wouldn't even give it that. Yeah. Um, it's just not. It just doesn't inspire me at all. The, the badge execution's lovely. The rest of it, nah. Cover that up. That could be anybody. Yeah. Stoke, Sunderland, Sheffield United. Sunderland. Have you just mentioned Sunderland? It's a red and white striped kit here. So yeah, not for me, Clive. Mm, okay. So, what did you say? Five. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely going to go higher. Right. No. Um, okay, man, you standing by higher, yeah. No, yeah, I probably am. Um, although I do think out of all the kits that Adidas have done this season for Man United, I would say this is the worst, yeah. Um, I think what they've done with the away kits and the third kits and the last couple of seasons, I think they've been really strong. Um, and although this isn't bad. I don't think it's as good yeah. as some of the others. I hadn't I, noticed the gradient on this. Yeah, I quite like the gradation that goes up, and I quite like this other interesting kind of hot coral colour that I've put in there. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Um, but there's not an awful lot going on with it. I'm not a massive fan of the fabric when I have a look at what Fulham and um, Villa have been given. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm sure they, they're they going to sell a lot of them. Um, <laughs> That's without saying, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, but... Yeah, it's all right. It's it's probably a five and a half, so it is higher, but I'd give it a five and a half. I'm yeah. not a massive fan of that. Right. I think it's all right. Well, I'm going to think that the next one's got to be better than that. Right. West Ham Umbro. West Ham Umbro. Oh, God, that fabric is minging. It is. Oh, my God. Based off a kit from the 70s. I was going to say. And it's like a fabric from the 70s. Oh, That's man, fun. that is horrific. It'll wash well. I think it'll take. A number of centuries to get that even off I the feel run. like if you ran around in this for 90 minutes, you could charge an electric car. I think the nipple wash you're going to get off that. Whoa. It's fairly smooth on the inside. The outside is... Crunchy. Crunchy. Mm. So the badge execution's nice. Quick books. I bet that goes area. down as a classic, though, with the West Ham fans. Oh, I'm sure. You I know, because it, a... it's pretty straight up and down. Yeah, there. from a design perspective, like you say, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. And I'm not a big fan of the sponsor on the, the sleeve either. On the back, yeah. I mean, it's it looks nice. It looks nice on pitch, but 
Another centenary again, shirt well, or well, that's sat on the back? 1964-65, uh, mm, so okay. cup winning year, 60th anniversary of that. I think it looks nice, flat, but same as we've said about Castor, we can't go in heavy on the Castor one and not on no, this. No, but, there's not an awful lot of difference. You know, the, the fabric is just, it's not even bang average, it's poor. Yeah. Really, I think from a... A design perspective, I could easily rate it quite high. I think from a final product perspective, yeah, it's not doing it for me. I'm probably going to – I'll give it a five and a half just because it's a nice design. But right. the actual – the fabric is dragging it way down and then the weight of these ribs, it's like it's basically like the rib on this track jacket. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay, so – yeah, not psyched. Sorry. Well, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm that, rubbish at this, aren't I? Yeah, no, you're not good. So I know the next one's a Chelsea replica. No, Bruce Forsyth. Um, so. um, no, you're definitely not that. Um, so you've got, uh, I'll go higher. Go on, um, yeah, so Chelsea's, um, yeah, interesting fabric. Again, sublimation print, which, as we've talked about, it's basically printed onto a white fabric. So when you turn it inside out, you'll see all the white on the inside. Yeah. Not a massive fan of that, but I can understand why they do it um, to get these pretty patterns on. Um, Which apparently represent uh, the young players coming through the academy at Chelsea. Uh, oh, and yeah. this represents the melting pot of mm. Chelsea and London. Shall we just have a think about that for a second? Carry on. Anyway, I think the badge is interesting. Um, it's shiny. It is very shiny. Um, but it, I tell you what, once you've finished with your shirt, you can take this off and use it as a frisbee. Yeah, or hang it in the garden to scare off magpies. Yeah, absolutely. But I think if you walked around in this anyway, you'd <laughs> probably scare off quite a lot of magpies. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not a massive fan of that at all. Um, oh, I did score it higher, didn't I? I would probably give it a, yeah, a six. For, well, I, w I probably would. I'd give it a six. For the intent, the ribs far better um, than yeah. the previous kit we just looked at. The fabric's okay. I like the intent around the graphic. They've had a go at something things. very different. Yeah, exactly. Well. And I think the badge, you know, is, is interesting. I think if they can continue with the execution of that, um, it could be really interesting. But, yeah, yeah it's it's probably a six at best. So what, what? are you doing, higher or lower? I'm expecting higher. Speaking of, higher. Speaking of, of magpies. The holy grail of football kits. Here we go. I don't know if he is, you know. Mm. Because I think for what we said about I know fabric, where you're gonna go, yeah. This I know you have to save a little bit of money on the fabric when you're printing on it, but that's the Man United fabric. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a big difference, is there? And I think again, compared to the design that's gone into the away and third kits. I feel yeah. like I could just replicate exactly what you've just said about Man United. Yeah. You know, that's really nice. It's got nice touches. But what's that that you've just pointed Sorry, out? Sorry, that. Good point, actually, because people at home aren't sitting behind me. So you've got the old school Newcastle yeah. badge on the back. Which that's is, a genius idea. Whoever thought of telling them to bring that back? It's a legend. Know. What year is that from, do you know? Or decade? 70s? Uh, 80s. 80s. Mm. No. Yeah. No, actually, it would have been 70s, 70s, 80s, something like that. Right. So we've got the 70s, 80s style uh, badge on the back. I'm not going to claim to know which one it is. I'm not au fait enough with Newcastle. I've never designed for them. But it's nice. It's a nice touch. And I think something Adidas have done really well is the personalisation of yeah. shirts this season. But that said, you know, I just think with an upgrade in fabric, this would be an absolute winner. Yeah. Because it's... You know, they've resisted it, the yeah. urge to, like, put blue in the, yeah. the little shards and whatever yeah. else. I mean, it's but, a, it is absolutely a fan's favourite. But again, if I think about the three kits that have been released over that season, I would say the home kit is arguably the one that's kind of hit the post, if you mm -hmm. like. And that's not from an aesthetic perspective. I think from an aesthetic perspective as a fan, you're going to absolutely love that because yeah. it's super simple. But from a fabrication point of view, from... An expense point I think of view. if it didn't have that on it. Yeah. I think if that was a lesser known brand. Yeah. I think fans would be like, mm. Yeah, but then 
if I think of what they've done with all the little touches that they've done, the launches of them, and again, when we're talking about footy kits and the launches of them and the prices of them and all that sort of stuff, what so Adidas factor. have done around Newcastle's launch is phenomenal. Yeah. So, yeah, it's an interesting one, but I definitely think their away kit, which is the um, homage to the Ginola era kit, of the entertainers yeah, yeah. is absolutely superb. Yeah, totally. And I also like the third kit where they brought the Nufk badge yeah. back. But again, I think they hit the post there when I look at what Adidas have done with the Trefoil. Why didn't they put the Trefoil on that third kit for Newcastle? Yeah. It would have been an absolute home run. Yeah. But anyway, it's your marketing. It, so yeah, I'm going to give this a six and I'll probably get a lot of flack in the comments, but I would expect that next season's Newcastle shirt will be even better. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But it's a similar sort of thing as to what happened with Villa, right? When they signed. Yeah, it was relatively late. It was, yeah. So, I mean, for all you fans out there, where you've got to give Adidas absolute kudos is we've managed to get replica kits across all three. We've got pro kits across all three. We've got training product. We've got all sorts. I mean, they've literally pulled a yeah. rabbit out of a hat to get all that. Yeah, it's normally the about a year and a half yeah. to be able to go from briefing the designers to the, to the shirt going live. Yeah. So, so yeah, they've done it know, on a compressed timeline. Again, they've had to print the stripes on it, um, which does dictate the fabric to a certain extent. But yeah. for me, value for money, not quite. So you said six. Six. So I'm a higher or lower. I'm going to go lower, and quite rightly so as well. Um, I think the City kit, I just kind of get my head around the phone code. O one six one do yeah I just yeah. Uh, just do not, not get it at all um, I think just overthinking it a little bit however um, I do think the fabric is arguably nicer than the Newcastle one yeah uh, I so I think that's quite nice and there's no reason why that couldn't have been no like, absolutely but Newcastle. again you know you've got to cut Adidas a bit of slack given the time scale but yeah. you're right there was plenty of fabrics on offer for 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 um, Adidas to use for the Newcastle kit. Um, but yeah, I think where my head's at is I think this is okay. I quite like the neckline. Not a massive fan. I much prefer the third yeah. and second kits that they've done. I love the fact that, you know, the launch of Oasis coming back together and what they've done around that whole thing um, is great. But yeah, I would probably give this maybe a four and a half maybe it's five at most yeah um I, i'm not going to score very high because i think yeah it's it's i think is the asset that they are a puma yeah i would be expecting world beat us yeah when not. whereas this is a leicester city kit really yeah yeah absolutely so, right. okay. so well, i'm going to go higher because that's a low score oh forest another oh, adidas yeah. kit the tricky trees and it's that fabric again, but even oh, worse. But that is really wow. shiny. I wonder if that's because it's all been printed. Because when you print a fabric like this, you have to apply heat and pressure and whatever else. But I mean, that's it's almost like sateen, yeah, isn't it? I wouldn't be happy. Oh with that. man, like I wouldn't be happy with that. Statically at all. charged negligee. Mm. Yeah. I mean, no. I like that it's got forest written on the back, but I mean, you'd expect that given that it's the club name. Well, I was going to say, yeah, it's not watching that. No. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I did four. quite like the other couple of I'm fabrics in the put. Yeah, four. Right, four. I'll go higher, higher. Got him. Oh, God, it's Born a... mouth. Oh, jeez. Together, Craig, anything is possible. Yeah, oh, sorry, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this either. Um, fabrics awful dreadful yeah um and it's pretty much the same template as what we saw with the west ham kit yeah just yeah the ribs probably even well it's a little bit lighter but it's just got nothing to it yeah just, there's not much stretch in that at all really like um, bacon actually i'd like to try and get your head through and your arms through that there's no stretch in that not, at all if i'm supposed to get my head through that bit. yeah but yeah i'm not a big fan of that i'd oh man i'd be lucky if i give that a two Worst one so far, yeah, so two, really so I've got to go higher than that. Yeah, you got to, got to. Ooh, staying on the south coast, Brighton yeah. and Hove Albion, who massively punching above their weight as a club, you know, realistically, and rightly so, because they've been run really well, they've made great choices, transfer market managers, etc. This just feels like teamware. Mm. 
it's uh there's not really a lot to to say about it looking at it like that it's just... i mean visually i think it looks quite canny yeah it's a nice print um, i yeah. don't know whether the american express have been very particular on the color of their yeah, because it's uh, not quite right, is it? Fabric, uh, sorry, corporate fabrics, corporate uh, colours, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, that doesn't look great. Um, I would have, if it was me and I was a designer, I'd have been seeing if I could pot be, potentially be talking to the marketing bods and see if we could get it matched up for the sake of the... Or, if you couldn't, then as Nike, I'd be then saying, well, I'll take this blue and use yeah. that. In yeah, the stripe, at least yeah you do something, together a bring it more. together. Yeah, absolutely. I quite like the little flash on. of yellow coming through, which, you know, if you look at the seagull beak, that's uh, quite nice. I quite obviously, like that. Obviously, obviously it might relate to a chip for a seagull. Yeah, it could it might do. swoop down and could do. snatch it A little from bit of peripheral of vision there, though, mate. That's true. Yeah, if you're a um, seagull. Brighton fan. Or a chip owner. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, very average. Again, I just, I don't know what's going on at Nike. It would just seem to... We seem to be slating, which is, you know, such a beloved brand of mine. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, yeah, they just keep hitting the post, I think. I'm trying to figure out if that's an interesting stitch type on the back or badly. Mm. Higher or lower than, what did oh. we say it was? Oh, the Bournemouth was one two. was a two, wasn't it's it? It's got to go higher than the Bournemouth one. Yeah, I'll give it a three. I can't give it any more than that. It's just not got, knowing that they've got this weird two-piece collar thing that they've does yeah. something with like could that have been half yellow or yeah you know, just something else to bring it to life man it's mm. oh, okay not good for me all right so you've gone three yeah i'm gonna go lower because i know what's coming next Ooh. And liverpool fans are gonna absolutely hate me for this last we've actually got a liverpool fan in the uh, in the room where we're recording but yeah. we're not gonna say too much about him he's gonna probably just throw something at us in a second probably um, I arguably think this is the worst kit Nike have ever done for Liverpool. <laughs> you mean to say, like, ever? Well, quite possibly. Actually, I think the neckline is absolutely horrific. I think the fabric is awful. The quality of that neckline is just minging. Yeah. I think, wow. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't actually know what to say. Um, I mean, aesthetically it's from a distance. For you. Yeah, that's true. Um, what a knob. Anyway, I do like the graphic to some extent, but that feels a little bit contrived. I yeah. know there's a story behind it, which I'm not even going to go into, but I just think it is such a horrible, horrible kit. Um, just even the fact that the ribs don't really match the colour of the main body. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I'd love to hear from you Liverpool fans. I know... You're probably going to go mental it is, but I just think that's arguably one of the worst kits you've ever, ever had. Um, and I think as a as a Liverpool fan, I guess you're probably really excited by the fact that you're going to be getting um, Adidas in a few seasons. Um, what are you doing there, Rob? I am pulling out the best and worst. Oh, OK. That we've got. So, yeah, I thought, I mean, I, I why mean, do you want to score that? Unless this is going to score lower than Bournemouth. Which... No, it, it is. Really? I'd give that a one. Oh, I would give that a one. That is controversial. But you know why? And, and honestly, if it was kit for kit, you've got to say that the Nike one is a better value for money. There's much more to it. Yeah. But the reason why I'm doing it is it's Liverpool for fuck's sake. It's not great, is it's it? It's like it's one of the Ooh, best okay. teams in the world, and that's what you've given them. Yeah. And I think you've got to take that into consideration when you're marking these kits because there's no excuse to get that kit wrong. Yeah. There's no excuse for it at all. Bournemouth, you live and, to fight another day. Yeah, so for me, it's I'd give it a one. So there we go then. We have got Liverpool, Nike in the relegation zone and Fulham, Adidas. Yeah. Uh, Premier League winners. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, that, like I say, the Fulham kit, we've, we've had a couple of them that we've waxed lyrical about. Yeah. Um, like I say, probably the only criticism I would have of that is what you called out is probably that rib collar. Yeah. Um, you know, if I look at what Adidas have done for um, Arsenal, for example, there could have been a nice yeah. you know, jackard through that of some description, a little bit of interest in the knit. Um, but as a replica kit for Fulham, I think that's an absolute corker. Yeah. 
So there you go. Right, there we go done. then. Well, thanks for sticking with us right away to the end of that extravaganza. Yeah. Um, every Premier League kit rated. Do you agree with us? I can guarantee there's going to be loads of Liverpool fans in the comments just hammering us for this. But to you've got to put your loyalties to one side. For Liverpool, that is not good enough. No. Um, it's the Costas Simicas of football shirts. So for me... I think it's all that's left to say, really, is thanks so much for tuning in. If you think you could do a better job of designing football kits and you'd like to put that to the test, do go to sparkdesignacademy.com where you can learn from Craig and myself all the tricks of the trade, uh, how to go about establishing yourself as a, uh, a would-be professional kit designer. So go in there, take a look at that. Thanks so much to Subside Sports for providing us with all the shirts. As always. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we will look forward to seeing you next time on the Kit Breakdown. Cheers. We are going to get absolutely battered. Yeah. Off loads of fans, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm a Liverpool fan. I'm with you 100%. It's fucking shit.